Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this quick video to talk to you guys about Apple's latest beta release being 8.2, beta 3, and how the firmware may eventually play into jailbreaking when it's released to the public. All right, getting started, like I mentioned toward the beginning, this video is going to be relatively quick, but if you missed any of my recent coverage, whether it's my jailbreak updates or tutorials, then just be sure to visit my channel by clicking on the channel name down below if you're on the main page for this video. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So today, just over a week after issuing the second beta iteration of iOS 8.2 to registered iOS developers, and roughly a month after releasing the first beta version, Apple seeded iOS 8.2 beta 3 to those enrolled in the company's official official developer program. Now the latest iOS 8.2 beta carries a slightly revised build number of 12D5452A over its predecessor being 12D445D, suggesting minor revisions. Now the latest beta is available for immediate download to registered iOS developers either via Apple's developer portal or as an over-the-air OTA for short update for devices running either of the previous two builds. Now, similar to Beta 2, iOS 8.2 Beta 3 was apparently issued to address minor complications and rectify small bugs. And moreover, 8.2 Beta 3 was also accompanied by Xcode 6.2 Beta 3 with support for WatchKit or Apple's SDK software development kit for the forthcoming Apple Watch. Now, as far as jailbreaking is concerned, while it's currently unclear how the jailbreak community will be affected by iOS 8.2's forthcoming release, it's expected that 8.2 and iOS 8.1.3, the update that will likely precede iOS 8.2, will close the vulnerabilities exploited by Taiji in their untethered jailbreak. However, the team claims that they not only have another method for jailbreaking 8.2 that isn't disclosed to Apple, but that they also plan on having quote surprises for the public and quote every subsequent iOS public release. So can they deliver for additional details on jailbreaking? I recommend checking out the video that I posted prior to this one on iOS 8.1.3 as well as 8.2 beta 2. So of course I will have links to those down below in the more info as well as on my channel, just be sure to check there. And I also advise checking out Evasion Jailbreak's corresponding post on iOS 8.2 Beta 3. Now to summarize, while the new Beta 3 firmware is mostly intended for developers keen on creating Apple Watch apps to ready their creations ahead of the device's currently uncertain launch in quote early 2015, the firmware's release notes in their entirety can be found on the post that I'm going over now, which I will have linked to below. And again, for those of you seeking additional information on jailbreaking, I highly recommend checking out Evasion Jailbreak's corresponding post on 8.2 Beta 3. And with that said, don't forget, I will keep you guys completely covered on the jailbreak status along the way post iOS 8.1.2, which is the latest public firmware that can actually be jailbroken by way of Type G. Don't miss out if you have yet to jailbreak, I definitely recommend doing so now rather than later because eventually there will be a jailbreak patch, whether it's in the form of iOS 8.1.3 or 8.2. Again, be sure to watch my previous jailbreak update videos for even further information concerning both of the eventual releases. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover various things like jailbreak and Apple Watch related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.